Yeah, my name is Rose Bell Kagumire. I am a journalist and a blogger. I'm an author with Global Voices, apart from being a journalist. So I do track social media use in Uganda, what people are talking about, and try to bring it to the international scene. Uh, most times, some of the stories that are not seen on the international media. As a, as a blogger, internet freedom for me is... Uh, I write my own opinion of something I've seen, which I might not be able to put in a story for any media organization. So it means that I have an, a voice, uh, my own voice that, uh, that has to be listened to. Some people might depend on it for certain circumstances. And for me, inter for, for me to have internet and to, be, to know that I can write anything I want within the the required ethics is important. Internet freedom is very relative when we talk about freedom because these are people who don't have internet. Again, for us to talk about freedom, we have to talk about the lack of the internet and the, the lack of access. Later on, talk about freedom. we talk about freedom to access, but also freedom on the internet. For those who have already access, are they free to express themselves on the internet? I think that's where I'm interested. I think it's important to bring together companies that work on these technologies that we are using uh, so that if you're from Uganda, you, you're not seated in Kampala and somebody's seated in the Silicon Valley and there is no connection. You don't know if you can contact these kind of people. Like we've had meetings with different organizations like Facebook and, uh, and Twitter. It's important to know that you have connection to give feedback. It's not just a general forum. Uh, you always feel like there's a forum to give your feedback, but you don't feel like it's listened to. So having human contact between these people who run those companies is very important, but also for the discussions going on, it's very timely uh, for, most, uh, for most countries that are going through changes, especially those that are struggling with the demo uh, trying to achieve democracy in regimes that are not willing to change. Just like uh, to come to internet freedom, people must have freedom of expression first. So you, if it's a country where people don't have freedom to express themselves even as they speak without any medium, then they are not going to have that freedom. To achieve only. internet freedom, you must first achieve a certain level of freedom, that is freedom of expression. That, then but that also to really meaning, find a meaningful internet freedom, it has to be in line with other freedoms which are important for expression.